Hello friends. In the last tutorial, we learned about how to set the the equal width constraint and make a view like this in every iPhone and scale the width of the views depending on the various devices and on the basis of the horizontal spacing. So we are going to do something more uh, regarding this. Just delete these two views and uh, we will take two more views. Let's keep a different color this time. Uh, let's keep it uh, purple and uh, make it this blue. Blue is you know something. Let's take it a green. Okay. So there are two views, purple and green. So let's make this width as sixty. Sorry, this is the width is sixty six and this width is hundred two. Perfect. Now, what we will do? Okay, now these two views, uh, just keep those two views like this if possible, or uh, we'll, well, let's keep it this. Just increase the size a bit more, and this. Okay, fine. So now these two views have different widths. And we need to maintain the ratio of these two widths uh, according to the various size screens uh, so that uh, when we go to 4.7 or 5.5 inch the, the ratio is exactly maintained with the two views. So first of all let's uh, give the mandatory checks that is the leading the top and let's fix the height. Okay and just give it here too. Uh, trailing at top and let's fix the fix the height okay now width is not at all fixed here so what we'll do we'll just provide a horizontal spacing first and we will again go and set a equal width check now what happened here something very weird and we all know that the two widths are not equal of the UI views so how can we set the equal width so in order to satisfy the ratio of this we need to play with the multiplier thing when you click on this yellow line and you'll see uh, equal with constraint here and you'll see a multiplier here and when you increase or decrease in the you'll see that the values are you know decrementing down and they are now perfect the 1.4 multiplier is perfect you see that I the multiplier was uh, sorry uh, now the multiplier is set the multiplier earlier was 1.0 and uh, what we did uh, I'm going to show it again and to delete this I'm going to make a equal width again and uh, this multiplier was 1 and I just played with the multiplier and I just see that these are in, we have to make this as 0 so that in order to make it equal so it's you know decrementing plus 10.9 and at 1.4 multiplier it uh, was uh, you know boom bingo so we uh, manage the two ratios of this and uh, now we can play with uh, the views here as we have already set the equal with constraint check so in every view you can see that the you, you, you can have a uh, some sort of ratio check like the suppose the width is 150 here and the width is 107 so uh, 150 divided by 107 somewhat around 4 1.4 ratio check so this is the ratio will be maintained in every kind of device and uh, this means that if suppose the width of this is 150 and the, the then the width of this will be 107 so if the width of this is uh, uh, let's say 300 then the width of this will be 107 into 2 that is 240 so this ratio is maintained with this so suppose if I uh, decrease this uh, I'm sorry uh, I will de decrease this with a multiplier if I decrease the the, the, the ratio is 1.4 which I currently divided you can see that 150 was the width of uh, uh, of this uh, purple view and 107 was the width of this green view and when I divided I got a 1.4 so you, you can always have a divide check and you can just uh, hit and trial the values uh, until and unless you will get a, a perfect blue mark here so we can have some more fun with this and we can have some increase in decrement with the multiplier suppose I'm increasing this 
so I made a 2 so this means that the width is now 171 for this view and the width is 86 so just uh, 171 just divide by 2 and it's around 85.5 that is 86 basically the round of 2 the box so the multiplier is 2 ratio 1 now so this view you purple view will be in the ratio 2 and this will be in the ratio 1 because 2 ratio 1 is maintained in every uh, iPhone uh, you can see the layout it it is uh, you know um, updating here too so you can have a various check out here and suppose you play with the multiplier and you keep it as a one multiplier so what does that mean it means that the two views again are back to the normal height so it's like the earlier version when you used to have the the auto resizing one and we have to do the d by dx part so it's like that part and this is the ratio maintained with the uh, with, with the uh, you know the views the two views uh, and we can play with that so so the uh, current rating the current uh, standings well was, was 1.4 and we just uh, uh, updated it with the, the one and with, we can play with it and it will be maintained in every every uh, every iPhone dimension there and you can have this kind of check too in any kind of views and this this is very handy you know and this 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 check uh, enables us to provide a D by D X facility which was earlier in the iOS 6 7 part and now we can have this one and use this one too and that's very handy to use so this uh, this little tutorial was uh, just about this thing and in the next few tutorials we will make a login page and we will use everything with the auto layout and we'll use the various text fields the labels and everything related with auto layout and we'll design a complete layout of a login screen and how it looks okay see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching